Well, I wrote a, a biography of my mother a few years ago because I wanted people of this generation to know how much of a pioneer she was in her day. When she came to the bar, she was one of the first, and she blazed a trail with a whole string of firsts. I came to the bar in the early 70s, and things had improved quite a lot for women, but still there were obstacles. I was the first woman in my chambers. There were very few women then doing commercial law, uh, and it was pretty normal for me to go to a business meeting and be the only woman in the room. Expectations, justifiably, of women have changed. When you get a groundswell of women, as we have now, uh, things change, and long overdue that they should. More than 50% coming out of university are women. And this has been going on for a few years, but probably not sufficiently long quite yet to increase the number of silks. My mother, as I mentioned, was the first woman Queen's Council jointly. I took silk 38 years later and was the 29th Queen's Council. We now have 15% approximately Queen's Council at the bar. I like to think the future is bright for women in the law. I think because there are so many more working women in the law now that they will create their own opportunities. They have a voice and they're using that voice. Uh, and I see no reason for it not to be bright.